Welcome back to Microsoft Office Review, Word Document Setup Basics 3, Page Numbers, Styles, and Automated Table of Contents. Here we've opened up the document that was submitted in the last assignment, Section and Page Breaks. You'll remember we're working with an abbreviated version of the Pennsylvania Dutch Cooking Cookbook, downloaded from the Gutenberg Press Project found at gutenberg.org. We have so far set up our page margins to be mirrored, since this is going to be a booklet. The title page and all the chapter pages should be in their own sections. And to double check where our section and page breaks are, we can select our show and hide paragraph marks icon, and we'll see whether it's a section break or a page break and where our hard returns are. We'll turn that off for now and start at the top. We want this title page to look more professional. We not only want this section here, this information to be horizontally centered, but we also want it vertically centered. Now we all know that if we've selected this text and select the center alignment icon, it will center horizontally. What we do not want to do to make it vertically centered is to hit our hard returns until we guess where the center is. We want the computer to do the work for us. To let the computer do the job, select the Layout Ribbon tab. Select Page Setup, More Options. Select the Layout tab. Right here in the center, the page vertical alignment we want set to centered. Now before we hit our OK button, we want to make sure that we're applying it just to this section, not this section forward or the whole document. This is the reason that we select sections and made the different sections in our document so that we could do something different to each one. We know that it's this section, so we'll select OK. And now the title page is not only centered perfectly right to left, but also up and down. Next, we want to make sure that our titles have the right styles on them. Now, we know this is the title of the booklet, so we don't really need the word title. We'll get rid of that. And we want this to be a title style. So we're going to select from the Home Ribbon tab the title. Uh-oh, look what happened. It pushed it over to the left-hand side. And also, it's changed from Ariel to Calibri. Let's modify that title. We're going to right-click, Modify, Make sure we're on Ariel, and now we'll have to select our center from the Format menu down here, and Paragraph, and we want our general alignment to be centered. And now we'll select OK, and OK. We're going to go down through and do the same thing with the other titles in the chapters, only instead of using Title, we'll use Heading 1 and Heading 2. So Pennsylvania Dutch Cookery here should be a heading. So when I select Heading, uh-oh, again, it's now a different color, a different font than I want, and it's not centered. So we're going to right-click, Modify, change the font, change the font color, and again change the format, paragraph, and center alignment. And now any style that we choose for heading 1 throughout the document will use that same format. We won't have to do it again. So let's go down and see how that works. So we've got salads and we want the Pennsylvania Dutch salads centered and bold 
black and you'll notice that I haven't even clicked and it shows me where it's going to be and that's exactly what we want so we're going to go down through the rest of the document and make sure that all of our title pages our chapter pages are using heading one now our actual recipes we want that to be heading two we want those to stand out a little bit differently so we're going to select heading two well we don't want it center aligned but we also don't want it blue Calibri 13 let's make it Ariel black bold and we'll make it 14 and now we select OK so now as we go down through any recipe heading that we select that style that new style modified style is going to show there continue through the rest of the booklet and complete all of the heading ones heading twos now that we've completed going through the doc document and making sure that the appropriate text has the right style whether that be a title style a heading style or a heading two style we want to come back to the top of our document and see what's next as I as I look at this here I think we would be better off if we had this centered so I'm just going to center this piece I don't need to go through any heading styles next I'm looking at this preface and it's really hard to read so what we'll want to do is make sure that there's spacing between each of the paragraphs remember on a computer a paragraph is wherever you hit a hard return and we're going to allow the computer to do the work for us and make sure that the spacing is right in between the paragraphs if you'll remember right we find this under paragraph and the spacing portion we'll want to make sure that the spacing after each paragraph is set to the same points as our font our font is set at 12 points so we'll set the spacing after to 12 points when we select OK the computer's done the work for us and put our space behind each of our paragraphs next up are page numbers and this is where many people get confused because it's a little bit of manual labor to make sure that all of your sections have the correct page numbers in this instance in this booklet we're going to want to put the page numbers in the very center bottom to do that we need to insert a footer so we'll go to the insert ribbon tab we'll select footer and in this instance we just want to edit the footer because we don't want anything fancy there in the footers of this section we we'll start on the left hand side we want our page number in the center but before we do that take note that right now whatever we do to this particular footer is going to happen in the previous section because it's marked as same as previous and we know our previous section was the title page we don't want a page number on the title page so we need to unlink this footer from the previous section and to do that we're just going to select in our header footer toolbar the link to previous section to unlink it and we see now that it's gone and link to previous is no longer grayed out we'll select our tab key to get to the center and now we'll insert a page number and we want the page number in the current position and we just want to use a plain number nothing fancy we have two problems going on here one it's starting at page two you don't count the title page so we want to change that number to a one and also because we're in a preface we're not going to use an English numeric page number we're going to use a Roman numeral to change the format 
we want to select our page number on the header footer ribbon and select format page numbers. The number format we want to set to Roman numeral. And we want to start this at page one. And that's a little bit hard to see, so I'll click away from there. And you'll see that there's a small case I, which is the Roman numeral one. And we select OK, and it's made the change. And since we unlinked it to the title page, we see that there is nothing on the title page. And we scroll down through, and we see that the second page of the preface is numbered correctly. But if we keep scrolling, we see that our chapter title, Salads, does have a number on it. We don't want this number on this page because it's a chapter, but we do want to count the number. So we're going to, again, unlink it, and we're going to get rid of the page number. But you'll notice what happens next is when I come down into my content or the recipes, it also erased the rest of the page numbers. Again, because it's linked to the previous one. So we want to come down here and unlink. Okay, we want to make sure that we're centered. So we're hitting our tab key on the keyboard. We'll go to page number current position, plain number. And four is right if we want to start our page numbers from the preface. But usually we start the content with a new page number. Now we will want to count the title page of the chapter as number one. Again, we don't want a number there, but that means that the fruit salad dressing should start at number two. To change where you start your numbers at, again, we're going to go to page number, format page numbers, and this time we're going to start at the number two, because remember we're counting our salads chapter title as one, and we select OK. So we've got one, two, three, and so on. When we come down to the next chapter title page, we'll want to make sure that this is blank. We still want the number seven on there, but we're going to unlink it, delete or remove that number, unlink the next page, make sure that we're centered, insert our page number in the current position as a plain number and it starts out exactly where it needs to be six seven eight okay complete your page numbers all the way to the bottom using that scheme when we're all done with our page numbering in section 12 we should have 31 pages and remember, chapter title pages have no numbers. Last, we want to put in a table of contents, and we want the computer to do it for us. So we're going to double click after the word Pennsylvania Dutch cooking on the title page, and we want to insert a new section starting at the next page. We'll want to select our layout, breaks, next page for the section breaks, and now we're ready to put in our table of contents. We select the references tab ribbon, table of contents, and really the only difference between this table and this table is one says contents and the other one says table of contents. We'll select the second one, and you'll notice the minute we selected the second one, 
it put in a table of contents for us, complete with page numbers. This is why we use the styles. It found that anything with a heading one style was out here to the side. Any of our heading two styles was indented in. And you'll notice that it brought over the page numbers. There you have an easy, insertable, automated table of contents. Now submit this portion of the assignment and go on to the next video, which is citations and references.